this channel, you can find detailed information about large eddy simulation and its approach to resolving larger eddies while modeling the smaller unresolved ones. In this video, I would like to share some insights on implicit large eddy simulation by using a simple example to facilitate better understanding of the concept. After providing a brief overview on LES, I solve this example to understand how filtering operation can be implicitly embedded within the numerical discretization scheme. Here, find a difference. Let's discuss about two general types of large eddy simulation, namely explicit LES and implicit LES. But I need to first remind on few information associated with LES. We start the process by defining filtering to separate the resolved scales of turbulence shown in the left-hand side of the vertical red line from the unresolved scales or subgrid scales as shown in the right hand side of the red line. It is a fundamental step in LES to distinguish between the large eddies which are explicitly resolved and the smaller eddies which are modeled or treated statistically. Filtering is applied to the governing equations of fluid motion to decompose the flow variable into resolved phi bar and subgrid scale phi prime components. Mathematically, the filtered variable denoted by an over bar over line is obtained by convolving the original variable with the filter function denoted by G as shown in this relationship. By applying the filtering operation, a large eddy simulation separates the resolved scales of turbulence from the unresolved. The most commonly used filtering operation in LES is the spatial low -filt pass filter, which attenuates high frequency fluctuations and retains larger scale flow structures. This smooth out the high frequency components as shown in this figure by the black smoothed curve. Uh, there are several different relationships for the filter function GX with the characteristics with delta. Uh, like box function, Gaussian filters and spectral filters as shown by these relations and the corresponding shapes. I here focus on, on just this function and we'll dive into a simple example to distinguish between explicit and implicit large eddy simulation. Uh, we have a function ux uh, that can be momentum and using this kernel you are going to calculate u bar. The main objective is then to estimate the spatial derivative of the filtered U or U bar. Let's start to remind you with few important required information to solve this problem. The definite integral is the first requirement, calculates the precise area under the curve between two specified points. The derivative of a function measures how the rate of change of the function 
at different points and is a fundamental concept in calculus. It simply represents the slope of the tangent line to the graph of the function at a given point. The anti-derivative is the inverse operation of differentiation. The anti-derivative finds a function whose der derivative is equal to the original function. If the derivative of capital U is equal to a small u, we take indefinite integral of both sides. The definite integral within interval AB is given using following relationship. After overviewing integral, derivative, and anti-derivative, we are ready to come back to the, to the example. We start to calculate u bar as defined through convolution. You can find details of convolution in another video. For a given x, we have three regions from minus infinity to x minus delta t over 2, delta over 2, and x minus delta t, delta over 2, to x plus delta over 2, and x plus delta over 2 to positive infinity. We know from definition of kernel function that its values in these two integrals are 0, as shown. Focusing on the middle integral, and using anti-derivative relationship for the definite case, we calculate representation of u bar as a function of anti-derivative function capital U. Here f should be capital U. It is time to apply the derivative by replacing the latest relationship as shown in this equation. If we distribute the derivative inside and use the definition of anti-derivative We get to our well-known relationship that states the derivative of the filtered function u bar at a given x using the defined kernel is simply the central difference. at that given x. This example provides the idea behind the main difference between explicit large eddy simulation and implicit large eddy simulation which lies in the way they handle the modeling and filtering of unresolved escapes in turbulent flows. 
A filtering approach in explicit alias is based on using explicit filtering operations such as kernel functions in order to separate the resolved and unresolved scales. However, the filtering operation in the implicit alias is implicitly embedded within the numerical discretization scheme. As we have seen, the differential operator is connected to the finite difference uh, uh, discretization. If we use that, the certain kind of filtering function. In short, it means that the filtering is integrated within the numerical scheme, reducing the need for additional filtering steps or explicit subgrade scale modeling. In general, explicit alias offers higher accuracy but requires more computational power, while implicit large eddy simulation provides a compromise between accuracy and computational efficiency.